Welcome everyone to the introduction of episode of the new series. Now this is going to be a very packed series, so make sure you watch this introduction so you at least understand what these series are going to be about so you don't waste your time going into these series thinking it's going to be one thing and then it will turn out to be another thing, okay? The project is going to be called a tricking library uh, or a wiki, you can think of it in that sense if you don't quite get it, but the main explanation uh, obviously will come later, but let's dig in, all right? So who is this for? So if you sort of identify as a person who wants to become a full stack developer, right? So you're, we're going to be touching on a lot of things in this project. If you don't know where to start, right? If you're, ever, if you're still asking yourself the question, what JavaScript framework should I learn? What cloud provider should I pick, et cetera? Uh, should I use MVC API, whatever uh, for my backend uh, framework, what server, sh what host provider should I use, et cetera, right? It's like, if you're just like confused with all the questions on what you should do, that you will probably benefit from this, right? And you're trying to get into the cloud, right? So you heard about the cloud, you heard about all the crazy tools that are out there and you're like, oh my God, all the professionals use that. I would like to go there too. Uh, please give me one ticket, right? So this could be your ticket uh, and it's uh, not, not entirely free, but up on board, right? And then modern tools, right? You're like, if you are under the impression that all the programmers or I don't know, most programmers are like always in the terminal using some crazy scripts commands and then just like two button clicks and servers go up and down, left and right, right? Uh, it's not, not exactly like that, but quite close, right? So if you want to be learning, uh, want to learn about some other tools that could be used to accomplish certain tasks, this could be a tutorial for you, right? And then advancing your skills, right? So if you're in a place like, I feel like stagnated, and again, you just don't know what to do, it's good to just follow this tutorial. I think that you will learn quite a bit from it. So prerequisites, I'm just gonna quickly briefly mention this because in my previous tutorials, I usually, I basically, what I do is all the questions that I get on my videos, I answer them and you can go on any of my video, find a question or a comment, I answer all the comments, right? Uh, what I'm trying to say here is I'm expecting you to not be a complete beginner, right? I expect you to know a little bit about ASP.NET Core, about C Sharp, JavaScript, maybe you tried a spa framework, you tried databases, maybe you tried hosting it. Hosting is not important, but I'm not. I'm basically expecting you to not be a complete noob. So then I don't get silly questions in the comments. Okay, so try the try this out. If you if you feel too intimidated by what I'm talking about here, you don't have to listen to me, right? You can just say, "All right, fuck this guy. Who who does he think he is, right? I'm just gonna watch this video anyway." Then you know you can do that as well. But and if you ask questions, I'm still gonna answer them. But I'm just warning. Please, uh, if if you're below beginner or beginner experience, I'd recommend you go and uh, acquire some experience first. Okay. And I will most likely tell you to go learn something else if I sniff you out, right? If I, if I, if I realize you're a beginner, I'll sniff you out and I'll tell you to go learn somewhere else. Okay. Uh, but you can carry on watching, right? It's your uh, choice after all. So, uh, disclaimers. Okay. So there's going to be no preview, right? I don't know yet how the project is going to be end up for uh, on my shop series. A lot of people were like, can you show what we built? No, I cannot show you what I built. I haven't built it yet. And I'm not going to upload a video after I've built the thing either. No preview. This is going to be a trust relationship. You're going to subscribe. You're going to like the video. You're going to keep watching. And I'm going to make sure that I keep delivering. I'm going to be answering the questions that you have. And maybe if you have some suggestions, I will follow those. Okay, so code will also be available. So you will never be lost, right? You don't have to pay for a code or anything like that. Next, mistakes are going to be included, right? So what I mean by that is... I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. Uh, I'm, one day I'm going to say we're going to do this thing. And then the next day I'm going to wake up fresh head everything. And I'm going to be like, yeah, everything I said in the previous video was crap. We're remaking the thing and we're going in the other direction. Okay. So another thing, uh, it's not in depth, right? Uh, I have videos where I go in depth. I, I, I pick a specific topic and I really drill down into it and I let you understand the whole thing. Uh, this project is more about... Uh, Grabbing a wider area, right? So we're just going to basically dip our toe into different pools and uh, hopefully you will then have your own motivation to go out and learn these topics, okay? 
but I will, again, you can ask questions. I will be leaving information in the description. So make sure you're reading the description. So it may change direction. Okay. So it's a big point. Reason being everything that I say, I might change direction because the nature of problem solving is that there's a problem that we need to solve. We don't know what the solution is looking like, right? So if we knew what the solution was, we wouldn't need to solve the problem. Okay. That kind of thing. So I don't exactly know what the future holds and uh, based on what our solution is going to be looking like, we might need to change some decisions we made earlier on. Okay. And that's just, again, the nature of the development process. The next thing is be willing to spend some money, right? So you want to be part of the big boys. You want to go into the, into the cloud. You want to do continuous integration development. You want to do, you want to use the S3 storage. You got to be willing to spend some money to learn it, right? Don't worry. Cloud is not expensive. It's very cheap. And uh, yeah, not, not a lot of money. But don't worry. But yeah. Uh, what is the project itself? Right? So it's a tricking library. If you don't know what tricking is, it's essentially like gymnastics, martial arts, break dancing, any creative movements sort of all mixed together. But more, more, most importantly, it's about communities, how we in the development world, we have conventions that we go to trickers have gatherings. So for like three days, uh, people from around the world will, will gather in the gym and they will all spend time together. They will do battles. They will share knowledge. They will do like competitions, uh, uh, other fun stuff and stuff like that. So it's mostly a community thing. All right. So they're like a tribe and how, uh, programmers are a tribe, they're a tribe as well. Okay. So it's going to be a video hosting platform. So there is going to be a problem to solve with video hosting like uploading videos, trimming, scaling videos, displaying videos on a mobile phone, displaying videos on the web site, right? So th there are a few things to think about there. Uh, there's going to be moderation voting, right? So you're going to be uploading a video. Are you uploading trash? We'll need a moderator. Uh, the, the community will need to vote on, is this trick what it says it is? Do we want to name it like that? Are there any alternative names? And uh, this process is essentially is going to go the undervote is going to under, undergo a voting process. Okay. So the community can decide and do self documentation. Okay. Then it's a social network as well. Right. So comments, stuff like that. People on there should be able to communicate, not through the chat, maybe because Instagram and Facebook have that sort of thing, but maybe just the comment section and yeah, just have having the social aspect of profiles. Who is this user? Who is that? Upload your picture, etc. Right. And then maybe exposing a public API. So we have this data of uh, how the tricking community uh, recognizes tricks. Maybe somebody else wants to do something with this data, right? So maybe exposing our API to the public. And yeah, let's just take a quick look at existing projects. So, so we can kind of get an idea of where we're going. So there is Club 540. And uh, the thing about these sites is that they're mostly static. So somebody has to go and update them. It's not like a content management system. Okay. So the thing is you have a search bar and then you have a bunch of moves and they are also in category of like tricks, right? So how hard is it, the difficulty? So absolute nov novice would be something like that. Front kick, uh, performed by a professional. So it doesn't look like a novice uh, trick anymore. Okay. So let's uh, take a look at maybe a what the fuck trick. So butter knife double. It was only a theory. Yeah, Strachan gainer crack, double gainer. And there we go, All right? So basically double backflip of one leg. So yeah, basically you get a get an idea of a tricking library. You basically document all of the tricks. But again, this and the other example are one man efforts. So he comes in. He may have a video and then he just updates it here and doesn't exactly know what else to discover. So if you have a lot of people, maybe you have more ideas and more suggestions and you, know, you get the idea. The voting process of the video, somebody sub submits one of these, which is a trick upload. Uh, is this a duplicate? Is it not? Is it called something else? Etc. So Trictionary, uh, kind of the same thing. Um, you have the discoverability here, you can search. Uh, videos are much uh, higher quality. So we're going to be trying to go for higher quality and uh, yeah, content, a content management system essentially as well. So that was that let's carry on tech stack, right? So, uh, 
API, backend, uh, ASP and core C sharp, best in the game, and no one comes close. Um, I think, at least in my opinion, uh, we can be using Mediator. We're pro we're gonna be using AF Core Mediator. Uh, we will see if we need it. If we don't need it, that's good. If we need it, uh, that's uh, good as well because then we can use a nice library. Uh, JavaScript Nux, Nux.js, that's what we're going to be using, where as you've seen uh, for those types of websites, discoverability is very important. So server-side rendering, I don't want to spend too much uh, time thinking about it. Somebody's already solved the problem for me. I just need to use it. Okay. So PostgreSQL. And all I know is that it's free to host, right? So I don't need to pay for my SQL licenses and stuff like that. So we're going to be saving money there. S3 storage. It's a cloud goodie. It's uh, cheap, cheap storage. So we're ne we'll need to store a lot of videos and stuff like that. We'll store it in S3 storage, right? Postman. Uh, we'll, we're going to be building an API. We will need to communicate with ASP.NET Core. You can use curl. You can use Insomnia as well. Uh, then there's going to be Windows Terminal, WSL. This is part of the tools section. If you don't understand why I'm listing this, kind of the modern tools like the terminal. How do you use the terminal? Do you know what the... Uh, subversion of Linux for the Windows does. Uh, if you've ever watched like a video, like uh, trying to learn it, because everybody's like, "Oh, this is amazing," but then you don't actually know how to use it. Okay, so Git GitHub uh, GitHub Actions, uh, brand new CI/CD pipeline and stuff like that. We'll be diving into that. Nginx for the routing proxy and um, or maybe even the hosting server, and Linode as the hosting provider at the moment that I'm aiming for. So we will build the API, the front end. We will have a database that we have hooked up to S3 storage where we're going to be storing our files. Postman, if we need to test anything, Windows Terminal to run any scripts or whatever, connect SSH onto boxes. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. We'll learn about that. And then, yeah, just uh, storing the code, building it, deploying it to Linode and actually having the thing working, right? So it's going to be from scratch to finish. And yeah, that's the project essentially. And hopefully we'll touch a lot of ground. So the code is open source. You can always uh, check it. Also, please check the description because I'm going to be putting a lot of stuff into the description, like documentation, where you can get more information on this, etc. I also have a Discord server. You can go ahead and join that. I answer questions there. And yeah, don't forget to ask questions. Uh, YouTube section or the Discord, come there, ask anywhere. Uh, I'll try to explain everything as best as I can. I also stream on Wednesdays and Sundays. So if you're into that kind of thing, uh, link is in the description. You can come follow me on Twitch. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this introduction. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to make sure you don't miss any future episodes. Share it with your friends and hopefully I'll see you around.